Welcome to Studio Binder. Today we're talking about script sides, specifically how to create them in Studio Binder, and we'll touch on a couple pro tips to make your life easier. So there are times when you want to share a script, but you don't want to have every single scene in there. These are occasions like your auditions or your rehearsals or your shoot days. Usually the way it works traditionally is you get a PDF, duplicate it, and you start removing all the scenes you don't need from that PDF page by page by page. And then from there, you'd have remnants on the first page and the last page of the scenes you don't want. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to annotate them saying, okay, we don't want these. These are the scenes that we're gonna shoot. If you're creating multiple sides every single day, it could be a pretty big time sink. So I'm gonna show you how to do it in Studio Binder so you can save a bunch of time. Here I am on my shooting script. Every single scene is right here. I can jump to any scene I like. Let's say we have a rehearsal coming up and we're gonna be covering a couple scenes. We don't need the entire script. So what you would do is go to those scenes here in the filter and let's say we're rehearsing scenes nine, 10, and 11. What you'll notice immediately is that the pages have been filtered down so only scene 9, 10, and 11 are here. You can even see them up top as tags. And guess what? You basically have sides. There's no Xing out of anything. There's nothing to generate. It's done. At this point, you can do a Command P, print it out, or save it as a PDF, or click the Share button. So the same thing applies for cast as well. So in the case of Touring Man, I had an actor playing the role of Ben. Ben only had two scenes, so I wanted to send sides to him. Easiest way of doing that in Studio Binder, you can just filter by cast, select Ben, and there it is. That's how you create sides by scenes, by cast. Great for auditions, great for rehearsals. But let's say you're headed into production and you want to create sides for every shoot day. We can do that as well. But you need to make modifications on your strip board first if you get to define what your shoot days are so that you can create the sides out of that. Go ahead and go back to the shooting schedule page. And on this page, you'll see every scene of my script. And this is usually where you would rearrange your scenes in the order in which you're gonna shoot them. Typically, you'd rearrange by shoot locations and actor availability, which you can do on the strip board, but we won't cover that today. But what I am gonna do is add a day break to mark the end of a day. So for example, I can add a day break manually right here, or I can even add day breaks automatically by clicking here and saying, you know, add a day break every X amount of pages or X amount of hours. I'm just gonna say every five pages and we have three days defined for us. So once you define your days, you can go back to your shooting script page and you'll notice a brand new filter at the very top where that allows you to filter by days. And those three day breaks I added are all here. And you can share it, you can save it as a PDF and you're good to go. And that's how you create script sides. We hope you like it and it saves you a bunch of time. Let us know what you think, add your comments below and we will see you in the next video.